all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again with corrupt Letitia james and this corrupt judge arthur and goron which i call him judge moron because all of them are crooked now i feel like Letitia james is up to something again because this right here just came out of nowhere and i'm going to call this out all of a sudden after donald trump post bun and then they come out this article right here i'm gonna pop the article up on screen right here y'all can see it it's a new york man charged with sending death threats to state attorney general and judge in trump civil suit now here's the thing about that title now Letitia james is trying to say that that her and judge and goron they received death threats from a trump supporter y'all see what i'm talking about they always trying to make it seem like if somebody come after them, it's all because of Donald Trump or Donald Trump sending them. And think about this. This just happened. This just happened after Donald Trump post bun. So when he post bun, now Letitia Jane, they got to try to come up with something else to try to get Donald Trump locked up to make it seem like he's sending people to try to kill them and hurt them and all type of stuff. And it's just crazy how far people are willing to go and and the reason why i'm so mad about this because i'm like golly if you're gonna beat donald trump beat donald trump fair and square don't quit using the system quit trying to go after this man for no reason because you don't like him that right there is where it pissing all of us off y'all don't see joe biden in the news ain't nobody going after joe biden they all going after donald trump why because he's winning they can't stop him that's why they keep trying to put them in these courtrooms and tell all these lies about them, put all these crooked judges against them that don't like them. And you see how Jack Smith is over there uh, trying to threaten Judge Eileen Cannon because she's trying to call it down the middle. And he's mad trying to get uh, Judge Eileen Cannon uh, recused, trying to get her thrown off and get another judge on there. He's trying to get a Democrat judge. See, it, it is just crazy how far people are willing to go. Like I said before, make sure y'all please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. Like I said before, hit that like button so more people can see this. And me personally, this is how I feel. I feel like she's trying to come up with something to try to paint Donald Trump in a bad light. By saying, cause like I said, I don't know, maybe she did get death there, but that don't mean that it came from a Trump supporter. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it is just crazy. So uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this article, y'all. Let's go down right here. It's a uh, New York AP. A New York man has been charged with sending death threats to the state attorney general and the Manhattan judge who presided over former President Donald Trump's civil fraud case. They say the guy's name is Tyler Vogel, 26 years old, of Lancaster, sent text messages late last month threatening New York Attorney General Letitia James and Judge Arthur Ngoron with death and physical harm if they did not comply with his demands to seize action in the Trump case. According to a complaint filed last week in the court in Lancaster, a suburb east of Buffalo. State police said in the complaint that Vogel used a paid online background website to obtain private information about James and Ngoron and that this confirmed uh, intentions to follow through with the threats were his demands not met. Vogel has been charged with two felony counts of making a terroristic threat and two misdemeanor counts of aggravated harassment. What I don't get about this, if they saying it was late last month, then why is it not, uh, now just not coming out then? Why is it just now coming out? It's saying this article came out April 3rd. Why is it just not coming out if that was the case, if, if something like this had happened? See, this is what I'm talking about. When it comes to stuff like this, it seems like Letitia James is just trying everything everything to try to take down donald trump so now all of a sudden this uh, since somebody coming after you they got to be a trump supporter i'm telling you i, I just don't believe Letitia james all this stuff that she's doing to donald trump all these lies and stuff like that how can you agree with this how can you just agree that somebody came after her and the judge and then all of a sudden they are Trump supporter. How you know if somebody was to do something like that, like I said before, that don't mean they a Trump supporter because somebody is it right to threaten somebody? No, it's not right to threaten anybody. But you can't always try to when something if somebody don't like you, your end of it is let's blame it on Donald Trump. It got to be a Trump supporter. It, it, this is just crazy to me. 
So let's go on down right here. It said, Erie County District Attorney John Flynn's office said in a news release that a temporary protection order was also issued. If convicted, Vogel faces a maximum of seven years in prison, the office said. It's unclear if Vogel has legal representation. Joseph Spindle, a spokesperson for Flynn's office, said Wednesday night that he didn't have more t uh, details other than that Vogel had been held pending the results of forensic exam was due back in uh, court April 9th. The case also was enlisted on the state's online court database and spokesperson for the state police in Lancaster Town Court, where Vogel was arraigned last week, didn't respond to emails. Meanwhile, Trump, who is running again for, the, uh, for president this year, posted a $175 million bond Monday in the civil fraud case brought by James' office that halted the collection um, of the more than $454 million he owes and prevented the state from seizing his assets to satisfy the debt uh, why he appeals. And like I said before, it just kind of crazy that all of a sudden when he posts that bond, then now they come out with this, that somebody threatened her to do this and her to the judge. And all of a sudden they got to bring Trump in in some type of way to fit their narrative. They got to bring Donald Trump name in it. This is, is where I'm calling it out. It, I mentioned this in the beginning of the video. I, I don't, think nobody should threaten anybody but the problem i have is, is when if somebody was to do that to you you can't always try to put donald trump's name in that to make it seem like he got something to do with it or that guy was a trump supporter that did how you know he won a biden supporter how you know he didn't support somebody else? how you know he just ain't doing it out of anger because just what you doing is wrong like i said before it's not right to threaten anybody but you can't keep bringing donald trump's name in it that's the problem. They continuously do this. Bring Donald Trump name in it for no reason. And like I said before, to run with their narrative. This is what they always do. So let's get down to it right here. The last little part. Trump is fighting to overturn Angeron's February 16th findings that he lied about his wealth as he fostered the real estate empire that launched him to stardom and the presidency. The trial focused on how Trump assets were valued on financial statements that went to bankers and insurance to get loans and deals. Spokespersons for James' office didn't respond to an email seeking comment Wednesday. And there y'all go right there. So, like I said before, I had to bring y'all this article because, like I said before, I, it just, that every time something happened, they just got to keep, they got to find a way to throw Trump in it to try to make the people turn on them. You know what I'm saying? They constantly are doing this. And that's the reason why uh, I wanted to bring it because I just don't trust Letitia James at all. This woman is corrupt. Her mouth is filthy. She's been talking about going after Donald Trump even before she got in office. This woman has been campaigning on going after Trump. She is willing to do anything it takes to try to stop this man. She willing to do anything. So, I, I mean, how we know she ain't put this person up to doing this? Let's make it seem like uh, you a Trump supporter and you threaten me and all type of stuff. We don't know that. But golly, how you going to keep bringing Trump in everything? I mean, just bring them up in everything to fit your corrupt narrative. And this is what they constantly do. But I did say this before. I'm going to call it out. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Uh, cause like I said, this right here is crazy. Uh, if you did make it to the end, like I said before, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. So you don't, uh, miss out on anything that I got coming so I can keep y'all up to date with everything. But like I said before, please let me know what y'all think about this. And I just feel like, you know, uh, stuff like this has to stop because she is constantly getting away with this crap. So like I said before, I don't know if this is true. Or whatever if y'all done read this article and you know about it let me know down below in the comment section but i'm just saying from my point of view i just feel like she always just got to bring donald trump in everything if somebody comes after her she got to blame it on trump so but i'll catch y'all in the next one